hopefully y'all can see this. <gasps> Whoops. You can. Okay, but my game's not fully windowed. Uh, gameplay graphics. That's back. Listen to that music! And watch the end of your portals through. <gasps> Great at nailing it in one stream. I don't know what happened with my voice and accent right now. They were good this year, yes. Oh god, Quintessa. How could you do this to me? Angelicals can angelicals do. It's full screen. It's 1920 by 1080. Nope, Katie, don't do that. <laughs> All right, let's just play it. It is fine. You know what? I'm going to open it and close it again because it's kind of, it's driving me a bit batty that I can see my taskbar. I don't want to see my taskbar. Uh... But do you have a PS5? I do not have a PS5. I know that they're sold out in a lot of places. Why is... Can I make my taskbar go away? Does anybody know a tip on making the taskbar go away? Jellicles... Oh, God, banana. Jellicles can and jellicles do. Um, please go away. I do... Alt-Enter. Sometimes I'm like, are you all going to Alt F for me? Let me try it. Alt Enter. Nope. Let me go back to the screen. Let me see. Nope. Oh, shoot. I started the game. I started the game. Uh, but Taskbar was... I know Taskbar was a fun character. You all can't see it, so maybe it'll be fine. I don't know why it's showing up. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent pending somnoscope technology. Love it. Is this a Scottish man? It's a Scottish accent, isn't it? Therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Same Medical Tom. Center. Somnoscope. We'll make your dreams come true. Oh! <laughs> Loading. Hey! Okay, so we saw that in our little room. WASD in the mouse. Okay, hold on though. I want to see if I can do Alt Enter on. That's pretty loud, right? Katie, it's gameplay. Let's do windowed and let's do alt enter. No, it just wants me. It'll be fine. It's weird. I don't know who it's by, but it got that vibe though. The audio is a bit high. Okay. Y'all just, you know, do the whole like Katie. It's not loud enough. Okay. Now it's really quiet, isn't it? Maybe we can turn the music down. Let's see. Oh, I just signed the terms of service. I didn't mean to do that. <gasps> now it's quiet. Let me turn the music down then. Just turn the music like halfway. Okay. All right. Similar vibe. More white and green walls. I look. This place has got a vibe, though. Ooh, though that pencil seemed real good. Just sold her house by the. I know. I didn't know I was gonna sign that. <gasps> oh, I got a. I got a. I got this. I got a. Oh. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. What? This orientation it's a highly request you dream. to eyelids are interactive, <gasps> lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. What? Wait, what? Okay, there's a there's this here. Okay. There's this. Okay. So wait, what does it want me to do? We got like a little block. So do we just like take this and like what do we do with it am i supposed to make it look hold right click to rotate okay uh 
wait, did that? GLaDOS, is that you? I feel like this might be GLaDOS. <gasps> wait! Wait! Why did it get smaller? Oh, shoot. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Wait, what? Oh, am I making this smaller by accident? It keeps getting smaller, y'all. Wait. So if I go here... Did I make that smaller? My little board is like so tiny now. Okay. You love this game? I've never played it. Did I do it? Hold right click to rotate. Is that doing anything? What? Wait. Wait. Why is it so much big? Wait. Is it just it gets small? Why is it bigger? Hold on. Hold on. Prospective and stuff? Okay. What am I supposed to do in here, though? Is there, like, a specific thing that I'm supposed to do? Okay. Oh, my God. Do I have to put these on that chessboard? But the chessboard is so... Without knowing this mechanic. Well, there wasn't like a tutorial though. Why are you so small? If I put this over here, it makes it bigger, right? That's what she said. But if I put that there, does that make it bigger? And I can grab my little, my little block. Why does this thing keep getting smaller? Use the perspective. I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I didn't look up anything about this game because I didn't I didn't know what it was about. That's what is this? A chess board for ants? OK, so is that side of the room bigger? Is this the big side of the room? Let me just grab this. What does this do? Does this change? Maybe we stack the blocks. Do we stack the blocks? Is this a fun thing we do? It was a Star Wars quote. Like, maybe we stack them? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I gotta just leave. I thought I had to do... Oh, I just leave, y'all. We just gotta get out of here. I didn't know that. I wasn't moving things, okay? Everything... Everything's gonna be fine. Okay. <laughs> Me overcomplicating the first room. I found a little... Oh, wait. No, I didn't. No objects beyond this point. Okay, so I can't do that. I do have to do something. Oh my god, this perspective thing is weird. Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm so... What? Wait! What? Did you all see that? That shouldn't work. That shouldn't work. Oh, Katie, well, okay, well, give me, well, what? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing immediately, but I'm trying my hardest. It's magic, y'all. It's magic. Do I stack them? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Just, like, stack them? That's the mechanic. Well, here's the thing. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that right away, okay? Oh! Okay. So then do I now put these on the chessboard? How do I make the chessboard bigger? That's what Oh, there's a little guy. Does this little guy matter? I don't know if that little guy matters. We win. Go through the door if you weren't holding anything. Oh, could I? All right, let's try it. You could be right. And maybe it's because I was holding on to that. Yeah, that little brick. Oh. Okay, but we're getting used to it. This is like a study room. If I step on it. Okay. Um, there's like a thing here. <gasps> what? Okay. Oh yeah, like we can, I can try to figure stuff out and I'll do the candy corn. I'll do the candy, ooh, I'll do the candy corn if, uh, 
if I need it. Okay. Oh, we gotta make we gotta make the block big. That's what she said. How do I make it bigger? Do I go back here? Oh, <gasps> what? Hi, Will Ass. How are you? What? Whoa! Confirmed. You can move freely, Hi, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol it is Gladys, and that isn't it? my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. Um, Gladys, is that you? Still alive. Oh God, that, that makes me feel like we got a gla- Oop, I found it. We got a Gladys friend, don't we? Okay, this is just a room. Oh. Wait. Okay. You can't run through it? Oh, wait, there's something over here. Oh, there's some. Aperture science. We do what we must because we can. Whoa! I think this is another Gladys. This is a triumph. Queen's Gambit. I didn't watch Queen's Gambit, but everybody loved it. Oh, is that cheese? Hold right click to rotate. The cheese stands alone. The cheese stands alone. Hi ho, the chario. The cheese stands alone. So it's all about perspective. Nailed it, but the cheese is larger. I think we just got to back it up. Back, 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 back it up. Back. Oh, look at this. But she cared enough to let us know she doesn't care. Watching For All Mankind Season 2. Is it good, NLA? Is Queen's Gambit like, should I watch it? Look at, I'm just making the cheese larger, y'all. Back, back, back that cheese up. Back. <laughs> just me and my extra large cheese, please. Is that enough, you think? Did I make the cheese big enough? I don't think I did. The cheese is, in fact, not large enough. You like it? Is it? It's a space show, right? Okay, I, I feel like the Queen's Gambit got... Whoa, I made it super big. Now I want cheese. During oh. eyelids, you oh. will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing look at a banana. that this is a dream. Evidence, I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Jeez, okay. All right, girl. Oh, there's a big block. Um, there's a big old block. Um, that's a lot of mac and cheese. It sure is. Oh, I found a secret, maybe. Hello? I found dream soda. Morning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. Oh. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. What? Please return to the orientation pathway. But there's dream soda. I, I really like the alternate history concept for of all mankind. And for the most part, I really like how valid their science is for the space tech and stuff. I love when shows do that. Cheese is never big enough. Is it on Netflix, NLA? Sorry if you've already said that. There's there's water soda, mini soda, baking soda, random soda, diet soda, green soda, red soda. So let's do random soda. I got a random soda, y'all. Please use other door. But I got a random soda, which I feel like is important. Can I shake it and will it explode? Oh, it's big. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta make this smaller. It's on Apple. Oh, that, okay. I feel like I, I've heard Apple has like a lot of great shows. Ah, uh, mini soda. Maybe I should have done the mini soda, but I'm gonna make my block really small. Look at how tiny I'm gonna make this block. It's so tiny, everyone. Look at it. It's the littlest bean. Got my little mini block. Nailed it. And I'm going to take my random soda with me. Why? Wow, it's going to say you can't bring stuff, right? Pooey. Look at how big this soda's getting, though. Oh, 
my lord! Now I want a soda. Hey, Mark. Will you bring me a soda? Hi, Trudis. How are you? Oh, it's broken. Walking on, walking on, bro. Oh, there's a button down there. Broken glass. You really want a drink now? Oh, I got my block. This is interesting. This does give me, um, I don't want to say portal vibes, but I honestly have really liked these kinds of puzzle games lately. Oh, <gasps> there's also, did you drink the Mountain Dew? Oh, no. Y'all, should I have a Coke Zero, a Mountain Dew, or a San Pellegrino Pompelemo? Did I say it right? <laughs> Pompel, Pompel, can you help me? <laughs> How do you say it? Pompelemo? Pompelemo. Pompel. Hi, Cap, how are you? Okay, we got a Coke. Should we do a poll? Coke Zero is a classic, San Pellegrino. Did Michael Green, did Michael Kane drink soda yet? Do? Oh, Cap, how you doing? Mix all three? Oh. Should I just do a Coke Zero? I'd sub for a Coke Zero. <laughs> what do you all feel about Pepsi and Coke? What sounds good? Oh, it's so hard for me to make decisions, y'all. It's awful. Um, why don't you know what? I haven't had a Coke Zero in a while. I will have a Coke Zero. Thanks, Mark. ASMR time, everybody. Ready? Thanks, Mark. I've had so many. I've had a, a box of Coke Zeros for a very long time. And it's taking me forever to drink All them. All environments perceived during island. Yeah, you, you did have to do that. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 13 months, Cap. I appreciate it. You totally didn't need to do that. I honestly was like, you know, I haven't had a Coke in a while. I should have a Coke. I said the ah before the sip. I realized that as well. I, I have mi like one mini can of Mountain Dew left. You should have had a Mepsi instead. <laughs> Thank you, Cap. I appreciate that sub. Enjoy all the emotes and all of the new animated emotes you can get your hands on. Oh, you've got a can of iron. I Why did I say it like that? A typical mental state. If you believe your Iron mental brew? state was compromised like by gum. Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Never. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. <laughs> what a gift card? Oh. Okay, it's all about perspective, Katie. It's all about the perspective, baby. I want to put it over the thing, but I got to get it over the thing. Oh shit, I did it! Yo! I tried Iron Brew once. When we were in Scotland, that was when I tried Iron Brew because you can't get Iron Brew here in the US very easily. You miss Mountain Dew, it's your favorite American soda. What's your favorite soda, Tom? The influence KP is drinking soda because of the end game soda. You're not wrong about that. Um, At least not the impact. Wait, whoa, there's so many hulls. We got like chess pieces art installations trying to drink less soda i don't drink soda very much so every now and then i'm like oh it's a little treat urn brew urn brew i always said iron brew the sun you tried iron brew once but you didn't like it ninja hello how are you friend welcome on in ow i fell i thought this was oh that opens that door this opens this door okay uh-oh. Can I... Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> I always get Mountain Dew, but I only ever get the sugar-free, I think, because it tastes better. I agree. Mountain Dew, diet Mountain Dew, tastes so much better than regular Mountain Dew. Uh, it's totally possible to teach yourself lucid dream. Would you all do that if you could? Would you all, like, let yourself lucid dream if that was a... a I feel like, did I make it? The game wouldn't let me go through here if I made a mistake. I think this, this is crooked. Yeah, I was going to say that's crooked. So I'm going to put that here. We're going to back it up, but ba 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 back it up. And then can I pick that up and put it on the. Oh, 
Okay. Hold on. There's got to be... There's a secret. I got a secret. There is a secret. It, maybe there's a way to get them on both. Um, I think there's probably a way to get it on both, huh? Yeah. I think there is. I think that there is. If I can do it right. My dreams are terrifying enough with me. I know, banana. That's how I feel. Like, but maybe like lucid dreaming would allow more control. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know the technique enough that if I want to, I can, but I don't overuse it. D yeah, I... Do you dream as well when you lucid dream? All right, so if I can get this large enough to go over both spots, that's what she said, but it's true. <laughs> I've been able to lucid dream a few times. It helped me stop a few bad dreams. Oh, it could be a little unsettling. I, I, I imagine that it would be. I need to be close to it and I need to make this super large. How do I make you large? Don't fall! Okay, I guess that's okay. Um, can I make it larger? I want to make you larger. Please. I'm making it smaller. Oh, no. <laughs> I lose a dream a lot, but I can't actually control it. Um, especially in a bad nightmare. Oh, no. Yeah, I get that. It would suck if you can't control it. No, I need to make you bigger. Like, it's... If I turn it around, it gets really... It gets a lot... Oh, there we go. Oh, almost. It's not big enough. Oh, it's almost big enough. Oh, it's big enough! Listen, I'm not proud of it, okay? But it's the only way to describe the situation, okay? Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. Okay. You did it. Thank you. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. The cheese stands alone. The cheese stands alone. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Size queen. I guess maybe we make a big cheese again. You ever just want to make a large cheese? Is there a way to get out of here besides maybe we have to go up here, you know? To become one with the cheese. One with the cheese. As long as you're doing your checks, I know what you're doing. You can have a pretty, com pretty complete control. I've always been so interested in that because I I've heard about lucid dreaming. I've never done it, obviously, unless maybe it's been unintentional. Hello, large cheese. Just want to push you down, but I want to put you closer to the wall. Oh God, stop doing that. Can I rotate you so that you are angled closer and then do a jump? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Hmm. Detective cheese. The closer you are when you pick it up, the bigger it'll be when it'll drop. Kind of. It's like you have to rotate your body. Because if I go this way, it'll make it smaller. Yeah, see? So I got to make it the cheese much bigger. I think I just need to make a larger cheese. Like, that's a large piece of cheese. You know what I'm saying? Oh! Okay. I guess my large cheese broke this. Phrasing. I don't mean to be like this, but also I think I'm just meant to be this way. Why would they make a brick in the wall like that? Another brick in the wall. My test for if I'm dreaming is if I can push my fingers through solid walls. <gasps> do y'all do that? Like, are you like in a dream? You go, oh, I'm dreaming right now. I always tend to be, <sighs> I have a lot of nightmares. Chubba kids, how are you feeling my friend? <gasps> Happy partniversary. I hope you're having a good one. Thank you. Big cheese hype, Porex hype. Big cheese hype. Everybody, please send some love to Chubbigans. Thank you for 16 hun, hun, 16. I'm sorry, my brain melted. I read a bunch of lovely messages earlier, and there was one from you, and you got me all misty eyed. I appreciate the heck out of you, Chubbigans. I hope you're feeling good. Thank you so much for 16 months in your tier two sub. It means a heck of a lot. I, I'm in my home bed. Oh my gosh. I hope you're relaxing because you deserve it, first of all. 
And second of all, I hope that you are having a lovely little kickback from everything. No, thank you so much, Chubbigans. It meant a lot. 1600 years. If you suspect you're dreaming, look for clocks. Dreams can... Hey. Oh! I'm waking up. Uh, things more elastic, so you can just try pressing your palms to see if your fingers push through them. Oh! <gasps> I'm sending you a lot of love. I hope your fur baby's doing good, too. Your little fur, but little fur bunny. I hope that the you were able to get some cuddles. Because I'm gonna try to remember your you your your cat's name is Pretzel, right? Laxness, hello. Um, I look for clocks too. Yeah, oh, Pret, you just put it in chat. Maybe I subconsciously saw that. Yay! I'm glad Pretzel's doing good. Um, thanks for coming by today. I hope you're you were able to have a lovely, just relaxing weekend. Hi, Alex. Not very much. We we did a there was some partnerversary love earlier and we just started this game like 20 minutes ago. <gasps> Which is huge for cats. There's cats in our neighborhoods that are literally like the sweetest. They come up to you and they're so loving. But I've heard that's not super common with cats. If you look for a clock, it usually stops and does wonky things. I'm going to I mean, I'm not usually that aware when I'm dreaming. Because most of the time I'm like, why God? If it's a nightmare. I broke it because I got excited about soda. All right, I guess I'll take it with me. You have four cats and everyone always says the cats are a-holes. <laughs> but I've always, I've always thought cats were very sweet and loving. And I know that it's always said in a loving way. Like my hair when I'm sleeping. <laughs> There's this one cat. This cat will follow us around the neighborhood. We'll be on a walk and it comes up and it goes. Meow, and then like we'll pet it. Oh God. And then it just follows us. What did it say on the door? This one said push door to open. Push bar to open. And these are all locked. So I can... Exit temporarily moved. Okay. There was like a there was like a door over here. That was a pretty good meow. My skills. Oh. Oh, that's a tiny door. Do I make the soda open the tiny door for me? We'll find out. You have six cats. I've always wondered if I should get a cat cuz I I've heard they're lovely little beans and they're so sweet and precious. Maybe we do the one on the other end right now. 147. But I've never had a cat. And I they I love anytime I have a neighborhood cat that comes over and is like, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, hi, be my best friend. Whoa. Wait a second. Is this inception? It kind of is inception, like, isn't it? It's kind I think we're in a dream state. Tigress seems like seems to like me but she still does her own thing most of the time i'd love to her for her to be more comfortable to be on my lap whoa that one okay all right i think this is the one we have to go to i've heard that like they do person cat personality tests at some of the shelters here so they're like this one will follow you around this one will be like um this one will sit with you. This one will like be more aloof and doing their own thing. This one might be more suspicious. So they like do like personality tests on the cats. And I think that's kind of cool. All right, so we got to figure out. Do I have a, what? Oh, do I make my own exit? Oh, do I? Oh God, I think I got to make a ramp. I think we got to go up. I think we just got to go up. It's got to, it's got to happen that way. I'm thinking. Way too dank. This is some inception stuff. I didn't even think about that. That's actually a really good way to put it. Okay, if I make you, if I make this bigger, I can maybe get up there. And I think that's what I need to do. I think I need to get... Oh, I did the wrong thing. I went the wrong direction with that. I seem like a cat person. If anybody has any tips, like, for what 
if you have a cat, like what's a tip that you could send my way? With a good personality, except what my grandpa have used to be. Oh, I think I do need to get up there. Okay, we just need to make this larger. Larger, please. I asked for a cat to be independent. She was like that for the first few years that last. She was a Velcro cuddle. Oh, cuddle girl. I like cuddles. Like I, I love animals. Oh, I'm up here so much. And I, I don't like, I, I don't want to feel rejected by like a cat, which I don't think would happen. I think it's just like the fear of the, the unknown. Oh, we got to go over there. Can I pick any of this up? Oh, maybe I grab my thing. Okay. And I make a bridge. Shit. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I gotta make this larger, please. I don't wanna fall off. How do I make you. Oh no. Or maybe we need gremlins. That is gremlin. Oh, I feel like it's so close to being the size that it needs to, but I'm not. Oops, I fell. Hi, Specky. How are you? Welcome. Cats will reject you hard and it sucks. But I feel like you just get used to it, right? Like the rejection. <laughs> Though I, what I think I want to do is volunteer and, and start doing stuff with some cats. I love my pretzel. I've never owned one before her, but I know I got lucky with her personality. I am so happy you have pretzel. Um, honestly, I've had a lot of people say, you know what? Cause like after Kodo, uh, I haven't had the ability to, to have a dog. Um, so everyone has said, I think you would do well with the cat. And so my brain is like, maybe a kitty. That little furry presence and they could hate <gasps> my my thought was like i could put a cat tree in here like if this ever happens like because there's a window over here and so like we have a cat tree in here we have a kitty cam uh it's like the size control just based on moving it and letting the perspective do the trick yeah i'm just ha like i have like a hard time like making this bridge for myself though so i'm trying to figure out the best way to make the bridge happen yeah, volunteer and come in foam hat and sneak the cat out of the <laughs> That's hysterical. Be like, this is the one, Mark. We gotta make this work, though. Um, I also really like doing that kind of stuff, though, because I feel like, oh, I feel like it was so close that time. Volunteering is kind of a fun thing. And I get to play with animals. Um, a main coon? Wait, is... Okay, can I ask a question? Is coon a bad word? Like, I'm actually asking that. Is that a bad word? Actually, maybe I should look this up later. I don't know. But I've heard Maine Coons are very lovely dogs. Oh, it is? In a different... Oh, but a Maine Coon is... Okay. All right. I'll look it up later. Never mind. I'm naive sometimes. I don't mean to be. And they're... Okay. Oh, oh. That's awful! I've heard of Maine Coon cats, though. Are bears in cat suits? They're like the dogs. Okay, let me see. I'm trying to make this super big, which I keep doing. Yeah, I don't mean to be naive. Sometimes I just am. Okay. I feel like I'm misunderstanding my abilities here. Maybe if I get a little closer. I'm just trying to make a bridge. I just want to make a bridge here. Oh, I made a bridge. Yeah, baby. That took a minute, but we got it. Oh my good. Oh, what's this? First try. <laughs> it took me, took me a little time, but we got there. Order more red paint, cloud insert. This is really interesting. Clipping portal? Oh, portal prototype. Um, excuse me. You know what kind of cats I've always liked? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Is it a I'd Scottish like to talk game? To you about being special. Oh, so special, in fact, 
but we have no idea. Oh, really, where you Mouse? Are. That's interesting. But not to worry. We're working on it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Chuck, I didn't know when I wanted to check because um, it's being blocked and I'm glad that you all said something. Um, I, I've i always liked um, Sphinx cats. I don't think that's what they're called. But the, the ones without any hair. Okay, we have a choice. Two doors here. I'm left-handed, let's go left. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I thought it mattered, okay. The gra I love Sphinx cats. Are they called? The Siamese cats are adorable too. The hairless ones, so cute. Oh, that's interesting. Let me see if I can make it. Can I make it work? I'm not making it work yet. Oh, wait, am I? <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Y'all, I made a block! Sphinx cats, aren't they so cute? I think Sphinx cats are adorable. Uh, that's too big. Did it. Okay. Persian cats are cute. They're like the little flat face kitties. They're cute too. I had a Lynx Point Siamese and she was the best. <gasps> Honestly, around these parts, like um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of kitties that are just kind of like the, that's interesting. Is that a bullet? There's a lot of kitties that are just like the, I don't, I don't want to call them mutts because that's what you call like a, oh. Oh, whoa, 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 we're making a table. Um, I made a table. Oh my God, I made a table. I made a table, y'all. Um, what is it? Like the mixed breed cats, yes. They're very cute. I've also heard that they have allergy issues because they're little noses. Wait, I made the table. Okay. Do I have to go all the way? I have to somehow, oh, table to on table action. Table on table. Um. Yes. Well, like, I know, like, dogs, they call them mutts. I wasn't sure if, do they have a term for, like, cats that are just mixed breeds? Gotta make that, gotta make that happen here. Now, the dynamic angle stuff does seem neat, because I made this table happen. Oh, maybe I stand on this table to make the block happen? Doesn't seem right. I need that block, though. So let me, maybe I stand back here and I can get, nope. I have to get this little part here that's got the colored lamp portion, I think. Oh, no, I don't. I know what to do. Took me a second. I got there. <laughs> Whoa, it's a stairwell. Domestic short hair. That's, yes, that's the ones we, we have a lot of those. And so whenever there's like a Siamese cat or uh, any sort of breed that is, um, any sort of breed that is different than that they go really quickly i always like i don't know i don't care i just like whatever their personality would be it's when dan gets a haircut <laughs> okay hold on wow i'm glad i got some hop on me a domestic short hair that is true that would be the appropriate term i feel like okay we got an exit we got an exit I like how this game's just trying to get me to, like, find a way to leave. Push bar door to open. I think we got to get up there. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Who knew, right? Maybe I could bring this up. I can. Cool. All right, we got ourselves a nice little corner stairwell. Whoops. Got a little aggressive with that turn. Ragdar, Ragdoll Norwegian cat. I don't know why I said it. That. Since free breeding, domestic short hairs from dis distinctive land races and wide geographic areas that have been the basis of several recent formula breeds. The European short hair, Celtic short hair, and American short hair. It's all very intriguing to me because just like with dogs, their like ancestry is just 
so it can be i don't know just it's just so fascinating to me that that's a i got a door i made a door i made a door I made a door happen um just because of like dif even different dogs like where they come from and the different areas and what there was a book i had as a kid the big book of dog breeds and the book talked about every dog breed their ancestry like what you know dogs some dogs are good for herding some dogs are good for protection some dogs are just you know fun to have and i always thought that that was really interesting do cats have like specific i'm gonna go down a rabbit hole ragdoll cats are adorable polydactyl double pod cats are mostly in the eastern thanks to ernest hemingway really incredible wadi i don't know much about that I would imagine hairballs would be more intense with a long-haired cat. Do cats like getting brushed? Some probably do. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. Okay. We still don't know. Oh. But please keep moving forward, okay. and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Oh my gosh. Oh, you love Norwegian forest cat types. They're normally very chill and very loving. Also hypo, hypo, hypoallergenic. <laughs> they have some dog d doodle, golden doodles are so popular here. I like how, I like games with snark. I've realized this, these couple games we've played lately have a little bit of snark. Some do. That's what I thought. I guess with like with dogs, some dogs like to be brushed. Some don't. Kodo tolerated being brushed. I'm like, buddy, you got long hair. You gotta be brushed, BB. Um, but he was very much like a mom, I don't want to. And Mark used to do a lot of brushing. I gotta get up. I gotta get up here, I think. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can make a block. What the heck, Arones? Check out this stuff, y'all. Oh my god, I broke it. I broke it. It's fine. It's okay. Everything's good. Everything's all right. Okay. Now I got this. I guess we're taking this with us. I don't know why. Oh my God, it made a big old room over there, but there's also that up there and I'm intrigued by it. Hold on, let's go in here. It's possessed. With double pod cats, uh, I've noticed it at least once. It doesn't seem to know you. He had a couple extra toes to clean. Oh. Um, I've noticed like, I know declawing your cat is like a no-no. Um. And they always have like little notes on the cats that are declawed and stuff. Um, <gasps> go get nachos, Borson. Thank you so much for gifting us up to technically cake. I really, really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the love. How are you doing today, uh, technically cake? And Borson, thank you, friend. Thank you so much for sharing the love. I really appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Yeah. And we still can't find you. That's not good. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Excuse me. Did they lose me in my dreams? Oh my gosh. I'm good, thanks. I'm, it's nice to have you here. You don't believe him? We've been inceptioned. Are we going to fight in a twisty turny hallway at some point here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Mayhaps... Gulo! Hello! Go oh, I'm, two chairs. I'm ready. X200. In honor of your stream anniversary, here is a horrible joke. Why is the divorce rate so high with tennis players? To them, love means nothing. How could you? Thank you so much, Gulo, for the 200 biddies. How are you doing? Welcome on in. It's so nice to see you. <gasps> My keyboard's dying. No one panic. Is someone panicking right now? Thank you so much. Love is a score in tennis. So um, is love... I can't remember the scoring in tennis. I actually used to play tennis. Um, 
And I can't remember how the scoring work. You were, you're aiming for love, right? Love is, oh, love is zero points. That's right. It's like love. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, oh my God, that's actually a really good one. I couldn't remember if love was all of it or love was none of it. Um, I, I appreciate it. Are we panicking? Everybody, are we panicking right now? Hold on. I'm plugging it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. Love is zero, 15, 30, 45 set. Yep, that's right. That's right. It took me a hot minute. I used to take tennis lessons and tennis is harder than it looks, but it's fun. I think tennis is a blast and a half. I would have been looking for love in all the wrong places. Okay, I'm going to grab this and we're going to make it big over here. But maybe a little bit smaller. Because I got to get on that. Can I get up? What? Because there's like this. There's this right here. We got hops. Let me make it a little bigger. I really like tennis when I was little, but it quickly got replaced by archery. Um, I've heard archery is so much fun. Um, oh, sees I fell. Uh, Taylor just got into archery and it looks so much fun. Ooh. I like how it makes that sound whenever I want to like do something. It's like, no, Katie, you can't, you can't do that. And I'm like, why not? Okay, I'll just take it with me. Um, is phrasing still a thing? Hello, Mr. Enigma. Uh, yes, obviously I say things wrong a lot, but I don't mean to. It's just who I am as a person. Um, how are you doing, Mr. Enigma? Welcome on in. Archery is fantastic. It looks like a lot of fun. Oh, I'm so close. Ready? Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm, come on. I'm like right, like an inch. <laughs> Chubbigans. I liked portals so much. I played it all in one stream. <laughs> I literally played eight and a half hours of Portal. I think it was more like seven because I talked to chat for a bit. But I mean, I I don't know. I think I just really liked it. <laughs> That's why I saw this game on the Steam sale and I was like, okay, this seems like a good, a good fun game for me to get into. Oh, that's going to be too low. Ugh. Portal 2 was a good time. I didn't expect, honestly, to like those games nearly as much as I did. Oh my gosh. This this one's really good. I So it's been on my wish list for a while. I don't know if I'm even supposed to be doing this. Yeah. But I feel like I want to try to... Oh, that's too big. Come on, you can get your little body up there. Get your little body up there. Get your little body up there. You can do it. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the first portal, but I think the second portal had just like a different a different feel to it. Um I think I'm getting this down though. This is at least good practice. Oh, come on. So so close. Might need another item. I know, but I just want these. Because I think that that's where I got to go. But I think if I just get up on the right spot, it'll all be okay. I'm up. And I'm up and I'm up and I'm up. Hi, Viata. How are you? It's so good to see you. Oh, is there nothing? Is this not where I'm supposed to be? Oh, wait. There's trash in here. Y'all, I got some trash. I got dice. Let's see what is... Oh, I made a big boy dice. But I got a three. So many theories, very little confirmed on the tennis scoring system. Viata, how are you? It's so nice to see you. I have played the Stanley Parable and that's over on my YouTube. Dude, somebody got upset with me on YouTube. I have to tell you this. <laughs> so I get YouTube comments, right? Which I'm very grateful for anybody who comments on my videos. I have uh, Stanley Parable on, on mine. And legitimately, let me put the little guy on this. Maybe I can make it little. Um, somebody was upset that I played the beginner's guide on Twitch. Whoa. Whoa. And, um, said that it was very distracting that I was talking to my chat while I was doing it. I was like, well, it's a stream upload. So that's the only reason why. Can I even go through here with these? I don't even think this matters. Can I, I can't even go through. What have I done, y'all? I haven't played anti-chamber. Oh! Did that do what I think it did? 
talking on Twitch. I know, like, I ideally it wouldn't have me, like, talking, but I was like, I think it's okay. I know. I guess I could just sit here and record. Should it should just record stuff and not say anything to y'all. But I like talking to you. And I usually don't. I try to do highlight reels over there now. Ugh. Whoops. Okay, I don't know. Let me see if that one even went through. It didn't even go through. <laughs> All right. But literally, I was like, you know, it's just, you know, to each their own kind of thing. But did I not need to do any of that? Because I don't think I did. Yeah, Genova? I don't think I need to do any of that. You passed the boom box. But I listened to it already. That I went backwards. So like I went back because I thought I had to grab that block to bring through here, but turns out didn't need to do that at all. <laughs> I don't think. And now I have to make a door. I got to make a door happen. No, you're fine, Genova. It was just a thing saying like they still know I'm lost. They don't know where I'm at. Um, So now I got to figure out maybe I can throw the block across. I'll have to look. Space shark snatching. And I think it won't even let me play it again. I think once you play it, it's kind of like one and done. Yeah, it won't even let me play it again. How lame. It's actually not that lame, but let me see. Can I... Do I put it on that? What's this? Nothing. So Miley! Hello. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Can anybody tell me where the exit is at? Been looking for a while. Listen, it's like a little X in the corner over there. So <laughs> if you need to, you just hit the little X and it'll take you out of here forever. And then we'll miss you. But I I understand. Miley, thank you so much for 49 months, you wonderful bean. I appreciate you. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being you. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, um, let's see here. What am I, what am I doing wrong? Like, this looks interesting to me. Like, I need, st those are open. Oh, there's a thing here. Right? Is that a paint? Is that a paint? No, that's just a shadow. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh, has a lot of fire safety. It's true. You're impressed? Oh my gosh. I'm good. Trying to get through the last bit of work. Ready for the long weekend. Me? I, I don't have a long weekend, sadly. Uh, but I'm going to be living vicariously through all of you who get a long weekend. Oh, can I get the moon? Hey. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. <gasps> In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, <gasps> please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, <gasps> as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as <gasps> hard as you can and immediately run away. <gasps> what? Look, there's some cheese and a block and all that. I can't take it with me, but we figured it out. Um, why would I punch my parents in their face? Just in a dream world. Like, can't you just turn around and be like, I'm sorry, I don't want to talk right now. <laughs> Instead, it's like violence. <laughs> loading. The evil. The what? The level is loading. I thought it said something evil. Why would... <laughs> <laughs> ah, little does he know that I want... Oh, gosh. If I wasn't asleep before, I will be afterwards. Okay, fair. Fair, 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 fair. <laughs> Wait. We woke up again. Um, And we're gonna go take our little booty this way. Oh, <gasps> soda. Let's go with the baking soda this time. Baking soda. The hallway's a little different. Oh, geez. I 
have baking soda. This is an automated message for okay, all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which oh my reflects God. negatively on the standard orientation protocol. <gasps> you will rectify this failure immediately. Oh my, wait, is this, this is my fault? This is, this is my fault. Oh God, that's trippy. Perception is reality. Your friendly doctor. P.S. We'll get through this. You want bacon soda? They make that. That's like a legit thing. I found a block. Making it, making it a block to jump on. I broke it? Never. The computer voice said, really, that's your fault, boo-boo. I know, it's really hurting my feelings. <laughs> oh, 1991, I remember that year. I don't remember it very well. But, ooh, what's this, a little block? Oh, it's like a half block. It's like a little, like a little block on top of a big block. Okay, let me just put this here and it makes the stairs. Nailed it. I was in first grade. I was a, I was a little, uh oh, I took a chunk of floor. Uh oh, uh oh. I immediately was like, I gotta go on the floor. <laughs> uh, I was a little one when it was 91. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams what? per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. I don't want a mental overload, but look at my mini soda. Look at how tiny my soda is. Do you see my mini soda? It's so tiny. <laughs> oh, it's getting bigger because I'm doing things with it. All right. Okay. Is this where the rat man lives? Who's the rat man? I'm scared. Well, these are all wibbly wobbly, just like a uh, Alice in Wonderland kind of deal. Eat. Eat. A probe's falling asleep. Is that... I know that this is a video game, but that can't be true. Like, your brain can only handle two to three... Whoa! Dreams? Oh, I can't click them there. I guess maybe I gotta go some... Whoa! Employees only. Can you imagine if that was like the case where your brain couldn't handle like more dreams? Let's see what's up here. Oh, I think that's just a perception thing. I think it's just supposed to look like, whoa. Master Splinter, that's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Tur Turtles reference, right? What? Excuse moi. Okay, we gotta make a we gotta make something with this. This is a test of some kind. I think. Oh shoot. Okay. 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 <laughs> Don't let your memes be dreams. Okay, um, Oh, that one can go fully down. This one can go fully cross. Which maybe that's all we do. Maybe these are just like an art installation. You feel me? What's this? Oh, whoa. Is it like a stair step technique or something? <laughs> or do we just go over here? Oh, it sure is. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Oh my god! So what you're telling me... Go fall the other way, fall the other way. Can I make it fall the other way? Maybe not. Okay, so essentially it's telling me that I it can't control my dreams. But I'm moving through. Like, we're getting through this dream world, hopefully. Like, a, a moment at a time. Oh, my God. Okay, this should be fine. This should be fine. Okay, perfect. 
the I like the music in the Oh my god. I like the music in this. Hello? Wait, did I do it wrong? I don't I don't think I did it wrong. I think it just kicked me back this way. Okay. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. Hold on, I want to look at this. John, John, Jonas Dawson, Jojo Smith, you are here. Dream layers of the mind. Tester so far. People only dream of ordinary objects. Boring. Feeling lucky? There's a col Coloss col Casino and Amusements. Thought you were gonna die. Whoa! The whoa! I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> All right. Don't let your memes be dreams. It's 5 a.m. I think the time is changing in the dream world. Hi, my name is Katie. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Yes. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, yeah. you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Okay. <laughs> Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Oh, Jesus. Um, well, like, I don't know, but... Oh, okay. I have my water soda. Nothing. Okay, well, I'm gonna take my water soda and go to the emergency generator. Does this mean it's real? I know, too real, right? I'm trying to ignore that. <laughs> that stuff. Like, it's fine. I, You know, it's gonna be okay. This is a horror game now. It feels like it. I got my soda, though. It's a water soda. So it's pretty much just a sparkling water, I assume. Okay. All right. Do I go through here? I don't think so. <gasps> um, someone put ketchup here, y'all. Uh -oh. <gasps> okay. Um, well, I'm just going to throw it out there. I think we should be concerned. <laughs> um, okay. I think, we, I think maybe we should be a little bit worried. It is a horror game now. What? Hello? Oh, damn. Hey, um, oh, Monday, Tuesday, th Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, Saturday, Sunday's a break from murder and we just have beans. Keep an eye out for the dead elves. Um, oh, I think I could take that sign and make it a ramp. Because it's kind of a uh, wonky woo. Oh, I can't. Okay. You like beans? I like beans too. Beans are yummy. I think I need to grab. I can't. Oh no. Uh oh. Um. Okay, we gotta grab something. But what do we grab, y'all? Maybe a thing on the floor. Oh, dang. Okay. Um. Dirty beans? Dirty beans is coffee, right? Can't. Oh, my gosh. Technical. <laughs> Technically, right? Like, I'm feeling bloated today. I can't possibly do the murders. All right. Um. Where am I supposed to go? I feel like we got to go out here, so... Maybe there's something I'm not seeing. And on the seventh day, we rested. No murdering happened that day. Jack! Thank you so much for your 10 months I sub. I honestly thought horror games were reserved for October only, Kitty. <laughs> like, where does the time go? I don't also, know. Also, hello, scream, kpp, fine. Thank you so much for the 10 whole months. Thank you for using your prime on me. I really appreciate it. You're wonderful. Thank you for being here and being a part of the community. It means a heck of a lot. Jack, you know me. I like to play scary stuff all year round. This game's got some interesting layers of stuff in it. Um... So I'm trying to figure out where to go from here. Where do we go now? Yeah, I can't grab that. I can't grab the murder sign. There's got to be something I'm not seeing. Deets! Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Lovable Chevy. Lovable Chevy, enjoy that gift sub. Thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate it. Oh my goodness. 
Enjoy, lovable Chevy. How you doing? Welcome on in. Okay, uh, let's see here. Layers of murder. I feel like I'm missing something sillily. Okay, there's this. There's this. There's that. Hello? I feel like we have to go up there because it's brighter. So do I have to just make the floor look a certain way? Like make the lights come down? You feel me? Maybe if I stand here... It's like I think I need to do a matchup of some sort of... Can I crouch? I can't crouch. But do you know what I'm saying? Like I have to do a pers perspective thing. The lights go down in the city. Whoa! Oh. That was totally an accident, but that's where I'm supposed to go. Ooh. I just wait for the beans to show up. I just live here. I love... I'm going to go this way first. I love... Dirty coffee water. Not dirty coffee. Oh my god. Dirty beans, aka coffee water. Uh, I'm just going to stop talking. <laughs> but I love beans in general. None of that came out right. You know when sometimes you try to to say something and just nothing falls into place and you're like I hope that someone like got garnered what I was trying to say <gasps> oh my god emergency generator this way but there's been a med I, you know like sometimes you're like I'm gonna try to save this sentence and there you just can't god this would suck to be trapped in Oh, to be trapped in a dream like this. Yikes. There was a. All right, we got to be creative. There was a an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer that I watched that had such a good. Exa like, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a dream episode and it was such a good representation of what it's like to have a dream um it seems like murder is definitely on the menu saving sentences sometimes be a losing preposition <laughs> i see oh, i see what you did there oh there's like a platform okay oh god i didn't i didn't give enough of a jump jump okay we're gonna do a hop skip and a jump a slice of cheese wait Okay, wait, I think there's one on the other side. This all of a sudden became a platformer, y'all. Um, go here, and then I think there was one over here. I lied to you. <laughs> I like my coffee extra dirty. <laughs> Who doesn't? Oh. Okay. Just took a little bit of time. It's all good. I will say, like, wait, having a dream in a nightmare would be awful. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi, Glenn. And I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. Okay. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. Yeah. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Okay. All right. I mean, that's just kind of not ominous. <gasps> I'm so glad you like the emotes. Lovable. Enjoy them. I'm so excited you got them. Have fun with them. Lucky number nine or whatever. I've seen this game. I got it because it's on Steam, right? For the Steam sale. So I'm like super jazzed about it. All right. Let me see. Back, 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 back it up. Um, I can't see anything. Hello? But it's been really interesting. It's like a forced perspective game. Wheatley, is that you? That kind of sounds like Wheatley, doesn't it? Okay, we got to go in there, but it's super dark. Oh, my eyes are going to love that not having contacts in. Rob, I, I have a, a very important question for you. Oh, there's an arrow. What kind of cookie dough did you make? This is like a very important question. Can I go this way? Oops, so there's like that arrow, right? Maybe we just go... Oh, there's some stairs. Oh, Cap, did you like this when you played it? I'm very intrigued by it. 
You loved this? Warning. <gasps> you are advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams, oh, but no. have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. Oh. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Hey! I'm doing the best that I can! Um, that obviously is something I need to do. Um, maybe we don't go that way. Maybe we take this with us. I... I've been really liking this so far. I can't go back that way, but I have like kind of a light now. Um, I really liked Portal and this kind of seemed right up that same alley. David, how are you doing by the way? It's so good to see you. Is there a way to make, maybe, maybe, maybe we make the light so big that the light doesn't know what to do with it. Me bang, me bang on it. That didn't work, anybody. How could, how could that not work? That was genius. <laughs> do I go this way? I can't fit. But maybe if I make a ramp? Oh my gosh, the heat, anybody? It, the heat is 101 right now. <laughs> yes. Yes. Joshua 85 chairs. Hey. Thirty-three. Hey, thank you, Joshua, for the three, three, three chef's kiss. I really appreciate it. I still will never get used to that. Uh, it was an attempt. An attempt was made. But look at how bright this room is. It's lit in here. Don't leave me hanging. Um, today was uh less hot than it has been. I posted in Discord. We had one hundred and seven the other day. And I was like, um, I'm good. I'm good without this 107, please. You know? Okay, what am I doing incorrectly here? How does it feel? Is there another way I can go? Because these are broken off. We, we got to go that way. But I also have access to this boy to make things happen. So can I do something in the hallway? Um, the wind just picked up here. Rain is on its way. Oh, I wish it would have some rain. I, I would love some rain. Oh, rain sounds so good. Yeah, it's hotter than Southern Texas, Central Texas right now. <laughs> I believe it. I'm gonna do it. What the, f what the fudge ass? What the, what the fudge ass? That's what I gotta know. Am I even on the right path? <laughs> Usually, like, they would let me pull those off, right? Oh, my gosh. Solitary. 116 is so hot. And I know a lot of folks in Seattle don't have it. <gasps> Dee Dee, -de, I'm loving this game so far. Um, I've been kind of, like, into these puzzly games. And I, I this one I had heard had come highly recommended. So I was like, I want, I got it on the Steam sale. And I've been very excited about it. Um... I'm glad that you played it too. 120? Oh my gosh. You know what, Mr. Peabody? We have a garden. We have a raised bed garden we started this year. Um, we did like one bed last year, so we have two beds this year. And I got a pepper plant and there was a pepper growing. And I'm so excited about this pepper. The sun was so hot that it burned the pepper. And now the pepper has a giant spot on it that doesn't look right. And I should take a picture of it and put it in Discord, but I've been grieving it because <laughs> I was like, it's like one of the first things that's been growing. So I'm like, we got a pepper. And literally the next day after our first super hot day, this pepper looked like it's been through something. <laughs> and so I was like, wait a second. Can we not? What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, that's just like a light thing. Um, chat. I feel like I should know what I'm doing here. KPP pepper on fire. <laughs> the pepper couldn't handle the spice. I was just like, you know how like when your garden first starts producing things and you're like, holy heck, I can make something with that pepper someday. And then legit, it's just, it's just not gonna happen for me. I can't get anything from there. Do I go up there? Oh. It's 57 and pouring rain here. Oh, I'm jealous. 
Then it changed to severe thunderstorms. Dogs aren't going to like this. I know dogs don't like thunderstorms. I'm not looking for the 4th of July fireworks, personally. All right. Okay. Like, without, like, a spoiler, am I missing something totally obvious? Oh, I, I there's people shooting fireworks off last night. Why did I say it like that? Shoot fireworks off last night. Um, but I, I, wait. Oh, I found, it's right here. Hi, Pagan, how are you? Just had to take my giant light with me. Ooh, can I go through here with it? Like, can I knock all these boxes down? Maybe not. Maybe we just hop through them. Oh, it's going to be dark in there, though. Pagan, how you doing? Too loud? I don't love fireworks myself. They actually stress me out a lot. Oh, I think I just got to... Oh, God. Oh, my God, it's dark. Help. Um... Um, was this a mistake? I think, was this a mistake? Did I? Okay, okay. I don't get claustrophobic, but literally that was like, wait a second. Okay, I can't see anything. Oh, I should have made it a little light and I should have brought the little light with. Oh! <sighs> Can I get back? I want to get back to the place to where that I... The place inside. That's it. She said, I want something else. Time since last checkpoint, 627. However, it's 616 for me, so that doesn't make sense, game. How far back would that have kicked me? Okay, I should have brought the little light. I want to go Hulk smash everything. Yeah. But. Oh. Okay. All right. This is fine. I want something else. Thank you all for actually understanding what anything means. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Get me through this semi-charmed kind of life. Baby, baby. Wow, this is scary. This is horrifying. Oh my gosh. Tyler! Hi, Tyler. How are you? Thank you for your prime sub, my friend. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Everybody, it's Tyler. Oh, hi, Tyler. Happy 46 months. I appreciate you, my friend. I hope you're having a great day. Did you get done with work? I hope you're able to. I hope you're like over that hump now. Do you like my mini soda? It's my mini soda. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Everybody, it's Tyler. Oh, I can't go in there. There's blood in here. Yeah, I'm glad. I hope that you can relax the rest of the night. I did. Oh, you didn't have to work the double. Hell yes. That makes me so happy to hear. Oh, whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. Can I bring this with me? I am so happy you didn't have to work a double. Wait, did I bring this with me? I'm playing this game and it's making, it's the Tyler, Mr. Tyler De Jet. Yes, the Tyler. Oh, I got it in there. Oh, no, I didn't. Wait, what? Is it? Oh God, I'm making it super tiny. Let's make it bigger. Oh no, I'm making it too tiny. Why is it so tiny? Oh y'all, I'm panicking. It's fine. It's gonna soon be smaller than my mini soda. <laughs> oh my God, is it rain today? Everybody's getting rain. It's freaking you out more than Hellblade did? How come? Clearly I have to do something with this. Is that a knife? No, that's my mini soda. <laughs> Maybe we go back this way? I don't think so. What's that? Okay. Oh, it's Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Maybe we put this over here because it'll light light it up. Light it up, up, up. Oh, that's creepy. That is a creepy look right there. Can I grab this through the wall? No. I don't like pitch black places. Yeah, I, I don't like to think that I'm super claustrophobic, but I think that I actually am. 
And normally games don't do that, but if it's like super dark and I can't see anything, I remember I played uh, Outlast 2 and my battery, my camera battery ran out in it and I didn't, couldn't see anything. And I just remember like hugging a wall for like 30 minutes to get through a certain part. And I was like, well, that was frustrating. Okay, now I feel like I'm missing something super obvious again. This like lights it up in here. So if I make this larger, you're a little claustrophobic. Does anybody have like a fear of like heights or anything like that? I I do. Uh, I have a fear of heights. We did a rope course here where you go on like the ropes and they have fun things and you hook yourself up. You're 20 feet, 25 feet off the ground. Literally some, oh, there's a thing up there. There's people that are just like having the time of their life and I am like not doing well with it. And I was like, I wanted to enjoy it so much. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? No. This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. Stop being mean to me, robot lady. You love heights? Roller coasters are your jam? Yeah, I'm not great with heights either, like bridges and stuff. Oh, you got to walk up the Eiffel Tower? That would be pretty scary. It's because it's all open, right? Like it's all like stairs that are open. Hi, Mr. Peabody. Was it called something different before? There's a bloody hand there. Just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. Um, Rope courses are so fun. Not with me, Tyler. <laughs> I just, I did, I was like, this is going to be so fun. I signed us up for it. And I literally just, ooh, it's an idea. <gasps> uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. All right, it's fine. <laughs> Look at this restaurant. <gasps> we have Thai food. We have leftover Thai food. I think I just, uh, you just got told off. I think I did too. Oh, is it just paint? Oh, everything's fine, y'all. It was just a new paint job. Nothing to see here. Okay, let's see. Cloud insert, mineral, aluminum, plastic. This is what we think we... I think we've seen this one before. They had hex code. Oh my God, they have a eggshell. They've got hex codes for... Um, is, it not, is hex codes the right term? My brain's a little mushy. For colors. Aha! Cloning, biggest question, which is the real one? Need to sleep. Museum of Simulation Technology was a tech demo. Oh, that's cool. So when you come to visit Colorado in the time that may exist only in my mind, uh, we, oh, banana, can I tell you something? You're bad with balconies. I don't like balconies either, Tom. Banana, there was this one story that came out that someone got a flesh eating bacteria by going down a zip line. And I think I'm also afraid of doing a zip line. Have you ever done it? Oh, I know. Banana, I know. Someone got on a zip line, they got cut, and they got a flesh eaten bacteria, and they lost, like, it just didn't go well, you know? It didn't go well for them. Yeah. And I think it's because when they were going down, like, a, something, something scratched them, and then boom, shabam, you got a flesh eaten bacteria. I can't remember where this happened. That is stuck with me for ages. I love avocados as well. Mmm, avocados. Let's go for a red soda. We haven't done a red soda yet. I don't think. Are you sure you're not thinking of that, that, that Sean Ashmore skiing movie? That was better than I thought it was going to be. That was horrifying. I've skied and snowboard quite a bit, though. So I feel like that doesn't scare me as much, but I haven't been on a ski lift in so long, but definitely not in that scenario. The Royal Gorge Suspension Bridge is also in Colorado. Sipping some tea. So many nice views, I know. As long as you don't go so fast, I don't think I could handle skydiving. My friend went skydiving and she, she looked like she was having the worst time, but she's like... I'm glad I did it, but I don't think I'm ever going to do it again. There's a slide. All made of glass. There's a pool on top of a building that has a glass floor, and it's like a skyscraper. I would be like having a panic attack if I was in that. And I'm not just joking. I legit would be having like a panic, a panic doing that. 
I would be having the panics. I know. I I don't know how people can swim in that. And there's always going to be that one person in the pool who's like, <laughs> and like being an ass. Like I just, I can feel it in my soul, at least when I'm there. <laughs> and I'd be like, stop it. You're going to break the glass. Like that kind of thing, you know, but not at the altitude. Uh, like that seems like a sea level sport. It was over so quick. Oh, I'm, I mean, I'm proud of you for doing that. Makes you anxious. Sore, I feel that. You don't get skydiving. Being in a plane is terrifying enough for me. Deets, I am very afraid of flying as well. Uh, to the point where, unfortunately, I cry during... I've been in some really scary situations on planes. Like, we're going to take off, right? I'm hunkering down. I'm flying by myself, heading down to visit some family. We are accelerating to the point of takeoff. And then, uh-oh, I guess we have to stop. So we take a hard break as we're accelerating to take off and then the captain comes on and all, is all like uh sorry about that um so the control tower told us to take off at the same time as another airplane so we're gonna have to sit on the tarmac now uh for about 20 to 30 minutes to let the wheels cool off so then I'm just sitting in a plane that's getting hot on the runway with wheels that need to cool off because we break so hard. And then I've been in the plane a couple of times where we like we drop like a lot of dropping or Mark one time we were coming home from Seattle or somewhere and legitimately the, the captain was doing like turns. We were dropping and Mark like, it's fine. It's going to be OK. And I'm crying because it was not a normal landing. And then after we landed, Mark looks at me and he's like, that was not a normal landing. That was more that was that was pretty bad. And so I just I've been in a lot of situations with bad turbulence, too. And I just don't do well with it. We, we lived in a very mountainous area for a long time and flying out over some of the mountains was awful. Um and uh can trot like it was a lot of dropping hi uh velo oh god i want to velocidosis <laughs> am i saying your right name right velocidotis how are you welcome the seesaw on the top of the skyscraper oh oh no hell no what i want to do is paramotoring is that the the thing that sticks in the water and then you ride like a little like a board yeah cap it was awful sorry one of the engines won't start oh god all right, these are busted, so they're like locked in. Oh wait, can I just go through? Oh wait, was I just, did all I need to do was hit the button and I just literally sat there trying to figure out the puzzle? Or did I do something? Hello, welcome, how are you doing? I hope I said your name right. If I didn't, just tell me and I will, I will do my best to try to say it correctly. Yeah, I was delayed in, in Debar taking off because the engine trouble and you're sitting at like, can I get off now? One of the engine isn't working. Oh, I didn't tell you about this. I took off from JFK in a blizzard. It was a legit blizzard. We were the first flight to take off. Our flight was delayed. 15 hours. And so we're sitting in the airport. There was a flight to Georgia we thought had taken off. Turns out they were just sitting on the tarmac the whole time. We legit, we legit like got, uh, we were the first people to take off from JFK and that was the scariest thing. One of the scariest things I've ever experienced. I'm still alive, so that's good. You're attached to a huge parachute while sitting in the basically a go-kart with a big fan on the back. Ah! You can't get too high and the parachute is designed to hold the weight of the whole thing. So if the thing falls, you just parachute back to Earth. It looks so cool. That looks horrifying. That sounds horrifying. But you know what? If that's your thing, go for it. Wait, did we just do a giant loop to loo I one time I was in this plane and no one... None of us were sitting when it started going up and down and up and down and up and down and people were floating around. Wait, did you get to go do... Did you get to go do space floats? Space floaty things? <gasps> Wait, did this game just PT me a little bit? You just walk... Listen, I'm not embarrassed by what just happened, but I'm a little embarrassed, okay? See, banana, just get a drone. <laughs> Isn't that the solution? <laughs> oh gosh, I can't believe that I just did that. 
We won't talk about it. I was talking about my airplane stuff, okay? Has anyone else had anything like that? Like, is that pretty common that we have these horrific situations? <laughs> All right, how do I make you open for me? No, Tom, it, it was me not paying attention fully to what I was doing. These are like locked down. No, you know what, Banana? Hey, if you enjoy it, I'm... They, those things exist for a reason, right? Hi, Kaz, how are you? It's like, yay, and Katie's like, nay. I'm just afraid of stuff. All the time, but I fly for a living. Oh, that sounds scary, though. It, it's, it's scary to, like, put yourself in a... Does it unlock these? Okay, what am I missing here? I feel like I'm missing something so supremely obvious. What, do you mind me asking what you do for a living? Um, caught up on the runway. Oh my God, caught fire on the runway? No, I ha no, I reject that. I had the chance to ride first class one time and immediately before takeoff, a lady sat next to me with the baby and the baby threw up everywhere. And that was my first class experience. No, that made me so sad for you. Chubbikins. You're a flight engineer, so you do have to fly a lot. People are flight attendants, you know, and they make it work. I just don't, I don't think I have that within me. Unfortunately, I'm doing all right, Remorse. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. Again, am I missing something completely obvious here? These are green apples, right? Green like the door. Eh. Maybe you should get another soda. Hmm. What if the soda was... Oh, uh... Sorry, I'm gremlining. Let me sit back up. Run very fast before the door closes. I don't think it's going to work. I know you're teasing, but hello. Uh, Wait. <gasps> um, excuse me. I don't need any help. Okay. Part of me wants to see if this will work, but I think I just need to put this on here. <laughs> comes from the engine that's actually very interesting the inside were held on with duct tape mr peabody that's upsetting that's incredibly upsetting oh uh oh uh oh oh my gosh this is fun <laughs> okay i need to stop oh my god I'm sorry. That is too satisfying. That is so sad. Can I pick any? Oh, I can't take them with me. They just make more. Okay, it's less satisfying when it looks like a stack of... Stack of stuff. A stack of stuff. Woohoo! I think I'm supposed to do that and go up here. Yeah, baby! Whoa! Pop, pop, pop! Thought I found heaven for a second. Papa. Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Oh. Significant memory loss, both quantitative no. and no. qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Do I have to make a full-on staircase? Uh-oh, they're getting larger. They're getting larger, y'all. Do I have to make a staircase? Hold on. I usually go to bed. Hi, Snackless. How are you? Welcome on in. It's so good to see you. How are you doing? Okay. Um, How's everything in your world? Uh, we're playing this game today, which has been a trip. Okay, I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do. Right click to return. It's so good to see you. Big Daddy! Do, 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 do. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Snackless. I super duper appreciate that. Enjoy your gift sub! Oh crap, I hit the wrong button. It's fine, Katie. It's fine. Sometimes you hit the wrong button in life, and that's just the way that it goes. 
Um, how are you doing, Snack Lisk? Welcome on in. Did I miss snail? Uh, snails. <laughs> Snail. <laughs> Did I miss Sales going to bed? Sales, I'm sorry if I missed you saying goodnight, my friend. I appreciate you. Um. Okay. There we go. Oh, crap. You know what? This is not okay. We got to make it look like a really, really. I did. Oh, damn it. I feel bad. I didn't mean to miss that. We're going to go here. And we'll go here. And then whoop. Whoop. Okay. This room is interesting because like the I just need to make it super large. Oh my gosh. Oh. Is there a link for the Breb wrap? Yes! Yeah, hell Breb, right there. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> oh. Good times. Good times. Let me just do this, maybe. Like just go. You know, just like we'll just we'll just make it a little bit larger. You know, didn't go as planned, but you know what? Sometimes in life, things don't always go as planned. So you just gotta like go with it. You know what? Maybe this is gonna be okay. I think this might work. Look at this. It worked. I think I was overthinking it. Start near drop far. I figured it out, though. We got there. We got there eventually. I haven't seen The Matrix in such a long time. Ooh, an apple. Right click to return. Wait a second. Woo! Puzzle successfully puzzled. Okay, that's not what we're supposed to do. We got to get the apple off of this, right? Right? Oh, well, this is a weird one. Oh, this is a weird one. Hi, Titan. How you doing? It's good to see you. Welcome. How are you today? Well, I'm just kind of playing it how I want to, Peabody, you know? Like, I know that there's lots of different ways to do it, but... Oh. Well, that worked. <laughs> but yeah, like, I just... I've just kind of been messing around with the mechanics myself. Um, giant apples. Must be hot in this room. We did it, chat! We got there! Part of me wonders if that... Oh, little apples little apples on the hillside lots of ticky tacky little apples oh it worked <laughs> we did it okay uh-oh warning dr pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Hey, you st what? At the hospital, I had a lot of nurses come into my room all throughout the night to check your vitals. At 3 a.m., I look up and this old man is staring at me and I said, can I help you? And he said, oh, I got the wrong room and left. I told the nurse and he was on the wrong floor looking for his wife. I was a little upset. I would be too, Chubbigans. Holy nuggets. I would also be very upset about all of that. Okay. A hundo, a hundo percent. A thousand times faster than you. Sometimes I get hung up on weird things, though. So, wait a second. Like, sometimes I overly complicate the puzzles and people are like, it's so easy, Katie. And I'm like, but what if we built a bridge? <laughs> it's like not necessary to build the bridge. Oh, I'll be your wife if you bring cake. I wasn't sure if... It... No, 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 Chubbigans. I would be upset, too, because it's like you're resting and... 
for the most part, hospitals are pretty good at like, sorry, I think I got lipstick elsewhere. Um, hospitals are pretty good at like maintaining security in that way, but you know, it's kind of weird to wake up and be like, you're a man that shouldn't be in here. And it's kind of like, maybe he was lost, but like, okay, was he like staring at you? <laughs> or was he just kind of like meandering? Attention. Dr. Pierce continues to input Pika. significant errors. I will interpret his Welcome, basic Welcome, by ideas. the way. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Yeah, for like five seconds, Chubb against I, I would also be like, ah, I don't love this for us. <laughs> I had a beard from not shaving for Maybe's days. I'm not your wife, Dr. man. Glenn. Seems pretty Sony's obvious. To welcome experience, team of your care leader, patient years. I, I feel, I feel, I'm sorry that Conditions happened. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And but, no ifs or look good okay i'm a little concerned about this experiment that i'm a part of um i watched the portal 2 vod the other the day after you played it and i kept saying to myself holy crap kpp is solving these puzzles fast AF. Yeah, there were a couple i i did like you know the missy elliott puddle pu puddle <laughs> puzzle um we got there eventually but i think that one took me the longest um all sense of privacy is gone in a hospital oh, yeah it is Oh, there's a big old line. Yeah, Chubbigans, you have a story now. Maybe his wife has a nice beard too. You know? This is almost like Portal. That's why I wanted to play this because it looks very Portal-esque. The relaxation room. I want to go there. Teach me how. Oh, it's so pretty. You ever just like stare at clouds? I do. Can I sit in this? <sighs> this is moving a little too fast for me though. That's not super relaxing. It's kind of... Um, was that supposed to happen? I thought you'd take two to three streams for Portal 2. You really sped through it. I was probably thinking of some co of the co-op content. Yeah. Stress clouds. You'd love that. I think if that was like slow, that'd be so like luxurious. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. We know Glenn. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Hooray! Please continue to do whatever you did most recently. Okay. And discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Unclear notifications. Unclear. That scared you. Oh my God, stress clouds. Hi, Excessive, by the way. How are you? Oh. Oh. I broke my ankles. What's this? Oh, it's a little house. I want to make it big and go inside of it. That was fun. A TGIF. I feel that. I am so excited. It's the weekend. I like the mini soda the best. It's too cute to not love. Look at this mini soda. Oh, I... I guess I don't get a mini soda. It's fine. I didn't want one. I didn't want to show anyone who just joined my mini soda. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't want to show anyone my mini soda. You know? Oh, wait. Whoa. 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 That's a tiny door. I just, you know, sometimes you just want to show off your mini soda to your new friends. And you can't show off your mini soda to your new friends because, you know. Um, let me see if I can find. <laughs> so there's that door, right? We got to get in that door. Like, we got to get in it. Oh! Ow. That would have killed me. That would have really killed me. Um, came for the mini soda, was sorely disappointed. I don't blame you. That mini soda is a big sell for the stream. Maybe the mini, it's so many you didn't see it come out. That is true, Pustulant. You are right. Uh, I make my own mini soda. Oh, I got a radio. A 
I put my hands up, the radio's on. Butterflies fly away. Moving in my hips like, yeah. This is a zip like, yeah. Nailed it. Oh, that's a big old boom box. I wrote the, I wrote that song. <laughs> Why would I take credit for that? Hello. My name <laughs> is Dr. Kind of Glenn song. Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, yeah. please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Uh-oh. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. I'm going to say no. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. Is that a swing? Oh my god. A different song came to mind for you. Which one, Ryan? Also, Ryan, is this Jenga? I keep getting, every time you post like vinyls, I'm like, I want to do that. That looks so fun. Jing, Jing, Jingo. 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 I know it's Jenga, but I like saying Jingo now because it reminds me of... Oh, that is so loud. Can I make it smaller? Yeah. I love... Um, oh, should I not have done that? I love um, Jinjos from Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, look, it's your biggest fan! That was a pretty good one. <laughs> I have to admit that was a good one. So I every sometimes I'll just walk around my house and go Jinjo. And if you get that reference, you get me as a person. Date. I don't know why I'm. I think you were giving that sub. Deets, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Chuck the Bear. <laughs> I really do appreciate that. Oh my gosh, enjoy Chuck. Made you laugh enough. What did I do? What did I do? Wait, what did I do? I made that I made this window very large and I don't know why I made this. Can I go in it? Oh, maybe I go in it. You know? I still have a huge start a vinyl collection. Oh, I could just go in it. I have a question for you then, Ryan. Like, how did you pick out your record player? Like, what was your like selling point on the record player? Uh-oh. Did I make it too big? No, I think it's a good size. Molly, hello, welcome. How are you? Look at this place. Check it out. Oh, this is Inception. We are in Inception right now. Hello, Hi. my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. <gasps> and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. Okay. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. Mm -hmm. It won't spare you from the cage of death the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Don't try this at home. I, now that's all I can focus on. This guy, right? That made me feel better. Really, Cap? Okay, uh, so is there any tips you all who do collect vinyls? Like that I should do, that I should, uh, that you could share with me to, for like what record player to get? Do you just get one off? I don't know. Like, how do you decide on which one to get? I put my something direct drive, not belt driven to prevent possibility of slips or skips. If the belt broke, especially since, uh, some can't be replaced and audio technica has, I saw that audio technica ones and I was like, there's just so many options. I was like, it's probably good for me to just ask those who have one. Thanks, Dr. Bro, I guess. Thanks, man. Appreciate your well wishes and vibes. Okay. That's a weird thing. Did y'all see that? Like, I think that's where we come out. Oh, we're in a portal. For the record, I can hear the Jinjo tune when you rescue them. I, I can too. Oh, I was going to see if I could be inside of it. 
What's this? That's where I came from, right? How do I get up there? Maybe we gotta get up there first, right? Like maybe... Whoa! Can I bounce? Almost. Almost could bounce. Almost could. I'm gonna eat a lot of food tonight. Have I played Control? I started it and then I got distracted by 19 million other games, which I know isn't an over-exaggeration, but it's kind of... I ha It's on my list of things to play because I know so many people love that one. Um, I think I just need to make this thing huge. Okay, that was not... I am glitched it. I glitched it. Um, I really love the game Quantum Break. Oh, I'm... Chubbigans, we have leftover... Oh, gosh. I'm ruining it. We have leftover Thai food, so I'm going to have garlic noodles for dinner. And imperial rolls. And I'm pretty jazzed about it. Jazz, baby! Oh, 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 tacos sounds so good. Um, excuse me, Jess, how dare you be wonderful, okay? First of all, oh, I fell. First of all, um, could I get a shout out for Jess, please? Jess, I adore you, how are you doing? Hi, Zachariah, welcome, thank you for 100 biddies. How are you today? Welcome on in. Jess, wantastic quesadilla. That sounds like a fun night. How are you doing? Welcome. Jess, how are you doing? It's so good to see you. Here, hold on a second. Let me... Oh, thank you, Banana. I appreciate that. Um, How are you doing today? Hamstab! Jess Play Jess told me to say hi. Jess Play. It's always good to listen to Jess because that's like how I base up like a lot of my life advice. It's like I got to follow Jess's advice because Jess knows what's up. Jess, thank you so much. And Hamstab, thank you for 20 months. I appreciate you. Oops, I made it too. I'm, you know, my phrasing today is, is kind of what it is. Um, so I apologize in advance if you hear the ridiculous things that I say today. <laughs> Jess, how was your stream? Tell me everything. What'd you get up to? What what kind of shenanigans did you have? Are you doing some more FMVs? Um, thank you so much for the raid. I love you, Jess. Thank you so much for that love. It, I really appreciate it. And I promise I won't end stream immediately after you raid this time. <laughs> We're doing some puzzling. Um, time for Psychonauts? How did you like it? I've heard of that. I've never played it. I'm trying to make this large enough to go through. Like, a specific way, I think. You're not sure yet. It's kind of like a joke game, right? Or am I misremembering that? Um, Hamstab, how are you doing, friend? It's good to see you. Why can't I make this do what I want? This one is providing to be a difficult one. Have you played this game, Super Liminal, Jess? Oh, like an edgy Banjo-Kazooie? We were just talking about Banjo-Kazooie. I just ruined that again. Um, we were legit just talking about Jinjos and talking about how the Jinjos make a sound when they get rescued and also they go, Jinjo! I have played this. It gave me bad motion sickness. Oh no! Hopefully I don't make you sick <laughs> in more ways than one. <laughs> Let's see if I, I'm just trying to solve this puzzle and I feel like I'm maybe, oh crap. Am I on the right path? Why do I feel like I'm not doing this one right? Oh no. <laughs> I know that was self-deprecating. I can hear Trance and Lurk yelling at me. <laughs> like, stop it. No, no. Try from an outer edge instead of the board. You're probably right. I need to, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. And here I am. Get a hops. Pops. All right. I can grab. Oh, I can't. I can grab it from over here. What's this? That's just a torn vinyl. Um. Let's see. Because I, I want. I think I need to make it so big that it's just falling weird. Um, thank you so much, everybody. If you're not following Jess Playin', please do so. Jess is a wonderful friend of mine who does incredible content, honestly, is one of the funniest people I follow on Twitter. Um, I love your tweets so much. Uh, so please go follow Jess uh, and share love Jess's way the next time they're alive. Please and thank you. Um, can I... 
Oh, what's this? Do I not even need to be doing this? I think I do. <laughs> I was going to say, like, am I making work for myself that doesn't need to happen? Um, but Jess plays a lot of FMVs, and we all know we love a good FMV in this house. So if you want, if I'm not playing an FMV and you want some of that sweet, sweet FMV content, go check out Jess, okay? Jess is so funny. Jess, you really are. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? I feel like this is not right. What am I doing incorrectly with this one? Um, besides all of it. I think we need to make it so that this is super big. And then we also have to cross this to get to this one is what I think. Need. Yeah, that's what needs to happen. This puzzle took you a long time too. I think I've got it. It's just like a matter of actually accomplishing it. Uh, all right. Um, hello. Hello. Oh gosh. I want to say your name right. Cab Cabidiz. Oh gosh. Forgive me if I'm saying your name incorrectly. Cabidiz Disservice. Did I do okay? I feel like I didn't. I, f I feel like I didn't do a good job with that. I think we got to like... Let me see. Can I get on there? Oh, I think I did it. I think I may have gotten it. We'll see. This might be the run. We'll see. Every time. I'm sorry. I, I try. I just struggle with the pronouncing thing sometimes. Please be big enough to fit through. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I could control. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Uh oh, is that not what I was supposed to do? I don't think that's what I was supposed to do, y'all. But I gone done did it. Um, and I don't think that's what I was supposed to happen. So like, if I want to make it larger. Oh, 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 oh. Portal? Portal. Portal. Don't fall off. Portal! I did it. Okay. We got there. Seriously though, Jess, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a really fun stream. I did it. It took me a minute, but I did it. Okay. First try. <laughs> totally first try. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Woo! And I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. You're welcome. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future Still gold, patients. how are you? Congratulations. Anyway, Cheers. you're now headed in the right direction. Okay. And we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. I don't believe you. <laughs> Good night, Zelda. Go get some rest. It's been a long week. I... I... I feel you on that. I hope you're able to get some good rest tonight. And thank you for being here today. And thank you again for your kind words earlier. It means a lot to me. So thank you for being here tonight and spending time. You're wonderful. Go get some rest, okay? Go get lots of rest. I think I got to make this like, oopsies. I think we got to make it. I don't know what I'm doing, but I think this is a portal. Oh, I made a big boy. It's fine. I made a big boy and it doesn't matter because it's going to be okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's see what I did. I did. Okay, it is what I, it is what I think it is. Okay. It is what I think. How do I make it so that I can get up there? Good night, Zelda. Get some good rest. I sense sarcasm from me? Never. Please, let me let me in. Okay, I think I just need to make it bigger. Uh-oh, we just need to make it bigger. Much larger, much more in charger, please. Still gold, how have you been? How's your day going? Thank you for being here today. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Um, We're gonna see. Oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh, what did I do? What did I do? Uh oh. Oh, I'm inside of it. I'm inside of it. Okay. Um. Why is it so tiny? Why is it so little? Oh, is it because I made it tiny? Oh, 
man, what am I doing wrong here? Do I go through there? Why is it so little, y'all? Why is it so tiny? <laughs> oh, why? I... Hi, April, May, June. It's good to see you. I am a size queen. Why is it so little? Maybe I make this bigger? Um, that's, that's not working. That's not working for me. Why is it so big there, but so tiny for me when I go through it? Is it because this isn't big enough? Maybe they both need to be really big. I think. Oh my gosh. Setting off the errors. I know it's kind of alarming. Does that do what I think it does? I don't. Um. Thank you so much for being here tonight, Still Gold. It's so good to see you. Uh, don't judge me. Maybe it's cold in there. I would never judge you. I'm like the queen of phrasing, and at this point, we've just, I've embraced it. <laughs> I've embraced that I can't say anything in the ways that I want to be able to. Katie. Katie, you gotta be, oh. Okay, maybe just a little bigger? Just a little, just a little touch, just a little bigger. What the heck, man? What the heck? Like, what the heck? I have the idea that is correct, but it's not being executed properly. I recognize that now. It's so nice to have you still, Gold. Thank you so much. But can I fit in it? Could I fit in that? I don't know if that I could fit in that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of I fit in. This is like portal portals on steroids. What if redacted? It's really interesting. It's all about perception and kind of my favorite thing. Because um, I don't know if anybody, I mean, this is just a fun fact about me. I have a degree in psychology, but before I got my degree, my goal was uh, I went to film school. And I was, I wanted to be a cinematographer. So this kind of stuff is really, really fun for me. Cause I'm like, ooh, perception and perspective and all that good stuff. Um, I think I was on the, wait, was that always that tiny? Hold on. There's got, okay, see like that's large enough for me to fit through, right? Correct? So what am I doing incorrect here? I feel, why can't I fit through that? Maybe I grab something out of there instead? Oh, okay. Am I doing, am I missing something totally obvious? I guess I'll say like a candy corn for like a hint. Am I doing something like totally off I've done so many puzzles lately that um yeah here's my hint think tiny okay but if I make it tiny do I make it big on this side and then it's tiny on the other side? Oh God, but how do I get up there? Hmm. Oh, Marche. Think tiny. Okay. Think tiny. But then how do you get up in? Wait, 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 wait. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> I was like, well, I figured it out. That's not even close. But maybe. Oh my God. Maybe, may, maybe. What's so maybe about? Uh oh, I'm little. Uh oh, I'm little. Uh oh, I'm little. Does that mean that I make this large now? Oh shit. I think we, I think we did it. Oh. <gasps> Oh, we just got to make it large. Oh God, that's going to kill me if it lands on me. Uh! Damn, Daniel, back at it with those white vans. 
Maybe it's not huge that that needs to fit the hole. I'm like walking this over. Look at how slow I'm moving. It's almost like non-existent. It's going to take me 10 years to get across this room. I think it's close enough. Let's pray that it is. I'm just a little guy. Let's see. Yeah. Oh shit, am I still not tiny enough? Wait, did I screw it up? Did I screw it up even though I'm the tiniest person in the world? I think Alice in Wonderland. Oh, what am I doing wrong? Wait. Oh. Oh. Wait, holy crap, what's going on? Wait, this room has changed. Hold on. Oh, I'm giant now. That's why. That's why. I'm huge. Oh my god, did I break the game? Did I break the game? I broke the game. Y'all, I broke the game. How come I can break the game? Um. I didn't break the game. But I broke the game. Okay, we listen to this. Hello. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Yeah. And I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. Okay. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Look, I'm little. Congratulations. Okay. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction. And we should be able the to game initiate counts. the emergency exit protocol shortly. All right, how do I get out? So if I'm tiny, I can make the room tiny, right? So do I just keep making the room smaller and smaller and smaller? Like, let's see if this works. But now that's so high up, I can't get there. Or do I make myself bigger and bigger? I gotta go, I gotta go Polly Pocket. I love that you said Polly Pocket, Merriman. <laughs> I love that you just said Polly Pocket. So if we Polly Pocket the room, I gotta go. Hi, Purple Hamster, how are you doing? It's good to see you. So if we Polly Pocket the room, do I just need to get larger and larger? Is that what needs to happen? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Like, is that what I need to do? I just get bigger and bigger? Let me see if I can poly pocket it. I'll take you to the poly pocket. Purple, how is your weekend starting? I hope you're having a great uh, Friday so far. I loved, I loved poly pocket growing up. I loved poly pocket so much. That is one of my top... Top favorite toys. Remember Pet Smart? What's Pet Shop? Or there's like a Pet Shop one where you could have like legit Pet Shop. Like little dogs and cats and birds and all that kind of stuff. Littlest Pet Shop. Yes. Oh my gosh. Littlest Pet Shop. Am I even on the right track, y'all? I think I need to make this so big. Let me see here. Very small animals. I loved Littlest Pet Shop. Okay. Um. There were the pet shops. There were little dogs. You had the little bobbleheads. Oh my god, I loved those so much. Okay, my brain is kind of becoming mushy. All right, what am I doing wrong here? Because this is clearly become not what I think I'm supposed to be doing. Oops. My body. The doors need to be different sizes. I was trying to make this one bigger. But maybe this one needs to be a little bit smaller. I am ginormous! But do I need to- do I need to be small? My size in the room is irrelevant. So I need to make the room bigger or the room smaller? What if you made one door super small and shoved the whole thing in the hole? The whole thing? The other door? Oh, like if I shoved the other... Wait. Did that do it? Did I just break the game again? Wait, so if I go through this... 
Uh oh, I'm small. Where's the door? Oh, here it is. Um, I don't know what I did. Oh, I, I touched them. Okay, so when you go through one door, you come out the other door, whatever it may be. So like if I do this, right? Like I come out and I'm bigger now, right? This one I feel like I should know, but I've I've like I've done so many puzzle games. Put the tiny door in the hole you're trying to get to. Oh my god, you're kidding me. That is so simple. I feel so silly right now. Oh, Jesus Christmas. I feel so silly. I can't believe I've done this. I can't believe we've done this. I can't believe I did this. Is that just floating? It's heading to the house. I didn't think about that. I was thinking of stacking them. I was thinking I had to create some sort of... I was very mistaken about what I know, what I needed to do there. Now it just seems so simple. Only been here two weeks. I did, I, I was like, oh, this will be an easy solution. Just make a door. Five, six dreams is the absolute limit when the emergency pro, what's the emergency protocol of the emergency protocol? I guess we're gonna find out. <gasps> Meeting for the Cardboard Lovers Association? 91. Oh. Kitty! Uh-oh. That's alarming. It shouldn't be doing that, right? Sorry if I've missed anything in chat. You can always repost. I do apologize if when I'm puzzling, I accidentally missed something. Emergency exit Kayla! initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnascult experience hey! in 10, what? 9, Oh, God! 8, Kayla, how error. are you? Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Thank you so Stand much for 16 for months. I appreciate it. How are you doing? Thank you for being here today. Thank you for the love. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for sharing um some sub love with me. I hope you enjoy all the emotes and all the good things for being a space shark. That looks like blood, you know. Error analysis complete. Yeah. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt <gasps> inconceivable! therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. I feel bad I fell asleep listening to you stream. You're fine, Trader Hypothesis. Sip, if you need to rest. Patient was improperly oriented. You're Conclusion. totally fine. That's me at work every day. Impossible. Reformulating. Impossible! Uh-oh! Improved hypothesis. Wake up. Patient requires additional okay. Somnasculpt therapy. Well Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. What? Uh-oh. Instruction. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an Me independent basis. Me dismissing my basis, alarm only for it to ring again, resources right? resources have been exhausted. Uh-oh. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. The cake is a lie. Goodbye. Can I have some, can I have some soda? Uh-oh. Hello? Emergency destroyed. I, I'm, I'm doing all right. It's good to see you, Kayla. The mini soda is a lie. Wake up. Why did you let this on the table? Uh-oh. I had too many dreams. Oh, my God. Emergency destroyed. Okay. Well, this would be fine. Okay. Do I do something? Maybe we do something different? Or maybe this is like... Uh-oh. <gasps> I've had too many dreams. I've inceptioned. We've inceptioned. I've inceptioned. Blah. Blah, blah. Sorry, I just really wanted to make it feel like we were... We were watching the movie. Uh, because, you know, like, that was very... Inception City. 
This is not foreboding at all. No, I feel like everything's going to be okay. Dia, how have you been, by the way? How are you and Sin doing? I could feel the base. <laughs> That's my hope. She could feel the base. Um, can I leave? Because, like, I feel like I can't. Okay, um, well, apparently... Okay, the music's getting its own kind of bass. Maybe we just go to sleep? In the dream? Do we sleep in... Oh! <gasps> Whoa, it's clouds! What? Can I go in the painting? I want to go in the painting. We're good. Hot like everybody. I know it's definitely a hot, hot, hot summer. It's starting off like so intense too. Please make, please make large area for Katie to go through. Thank you, please. I feel like, oh. How do I make you bigger? I need to make it much larger. Oh god, why can I not? Is that? Yeah, there we go. Took me a minute, but I got there. Okay. Whoa. I like the music. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnisculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Awesome. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. What? Oh my god! Oh, shoot. Wop, wop, wop. Wop. Wop, wop, wop. Oh, wop. Wop. Wop, wop, wop. 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 Jesus, dream has no chill. It really doesn't. This dream is really bringing it today. Uh, Bwap ASMR. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh oh. Wop. Oh, maybe we jump. Maybe we go this way. Okay. No, we got to get to there. We got to get there. Okay. Maybe, maybe we can make the door. We can make a bridge. Maybe we can make a bridge. Is this the mo- I could- Oh! I could see this being a little bit motion sickness inducing. Yeah. Wait, is this- Wait. Oh! Oh! Ooh, okay, I found a glowy door, though. Wow. Okay, go through the hole in the painting. Of course, nothing is more challenging than yeah. the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Right? Like, you get put into situations that you gotta be, uh, creative in. Oh, gosh! Oh! Hi, Captain Rascal! You just woke up? I can imagine if you just woke up this being a little bit of a trip. Ooh, a stairwell! I'll take you to the candy shop. Oh, shoot. I broke the floor. I broke the floor! Um, y'all, I broke the floor. Oh, that actually did something that time. Um, y'all, I broke the floor. Okay, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. Oh, there's a elevator. Okay, I found it. Just gonna get in here. You jumped that the first time. When you need to to walk on a ceiling, I get that. It's, it's a little bit disorient, disorienting for me too. It's got, it did, I think there was a warning that was like, just in case. Perception is not reality. That's a good reminder. Okay. Okay, hall two. Go this way. Hall three. Go this way. <laughs> 
Wait, I did it wrong? Ah! Hi, Millie. No, I just got to this part, so I don't think I need help yet. Perception is right, dead end, stop. But it's saying to go this way, right? So. But thank you, I appreciate it. I will let you all know if I do need any help. Hey, I didn't do anything yet. Meep yourself, okay? Perception is not... Oh, I was like, if I could just go through that wall, how badass would that be? Mm -mm. This one took you about 30 minutes. Seriously? Can I just go through the wall? Stop. Perception is not reality. There's something here, right? There is something here that the game is telling me. Um, Recycled cardboard. There's notes on the wall. There's talks about lucid dreaming. I got through that. What's weird about this is I got through to like hall three. Something you perceive is not reality. Probably the exit. Wow. This is the hardest puzzle in the game, you think? It switched. Why did it switch? Oh! Because that's facing this way now. I don't know. Let's see. Is it? Okay. That's not right. So. You see what I'm saying? Like this is, this is showing that that's the exit way. But that can't be right. Perception is not reality. Stop dead end. Okay. It's deceptively hard and simple at the same time. I think... Because you can't go back, right? Like, you can't. But you don't have, like, another option. Like, you can't... Okay. Is it just, like, a... Perception is not reality. Perception is not reality. All right. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, I think I screwed it up, but I have an idea. It seems like in every three. Yeah, I did. No hints, please, until unless I ask for them. Is it every three? Okay. Because what's weird about this is like every three. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, why? So this time it's right. This time it's just like go left. Ding, we got through. This time it's go right and that's right this time. And then I, it's right this time. And then it's right this time. And then it's right this time. Oh. Okay. We did it. Hey. Wow. It's a bathtub. We did it, y'all. Yeah. I want to go on the swimming. I want to go swim in it. Oh, I can't. That's sad for me. <laughs> Hello? Oh, my stuff disappeared. Okay. Rabadaki, you're the one. 
Oh, that's up here now. Okay. The little bell makes you last. Yeah, I really appreciate no backseating because it helps me. Because then, like, when I solve it, I'm like, yeah! And it's kind of like when you get to play a game for the first time, you you don't have somebody kind of giving you tips, hopefully. Um, so I appreciate it when people, you know, don't do that. The first wall you look at is always blocked. That makes more sense now. Yeah, that's how I, I was like, okay, if I look the right, the right way the arrow is, it'll be fine. Finally. While we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand <gasps> that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, <gasps> even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Oh my god, what? Okay, so like I accidentally put that in the wall. Put that in the wall. <laughs> I know, Cap. I painted the wall. Okay, I'm going down. Woo! Ooh, my ankles are broken, baby. Oh, God. No, let's just go. Oh, damn. Ah! Okay. Woo! Not close enough. Oh, wait. Wait, whoa. What? Okay. We can jump here and then we'll jump here. Look at this nice little green bread spread. Nice little green bread spread. My stomach did not like that. Yeah, some of this, this, this chapter is very like, whoa. <laughs> this is a, uh, whoa. Let's go down here. Hello. Oh my God. Reception is reality. Okay. 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 Look at this. Holy nuts. Okay, there's definitely there's definitely a solving to this, I think. Okay. This is pretty sweet. Okay, let's go another way. Uh. Oh my god. Okay. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing ah! dream light. Wow! Okay, that was weird. How's this game in? Miss most of the stream. COVID! Oh, I hope you're feeling okay, Trance. This is your second shot, right? It's been pretty it's been pretty trippy, but it's been really neat, and I think we're in endgame now. It's very like Stanley Parable meets Portal, I would say. I get that, Jess. Okay, whoa. This is trippy. Trans, I hope you feel better. I'm sending you a lot of a lot of goodness and love. Cause I know the second shot got me too. Oh. Let's see. Ah, <gasps> oh, this is trippy. Okay, there's a light over here. I think this is where you go, but I think it might be lying to me. Starting to feel normal now. First shot was worse for you. I'm glad that um well now you got the second one, so hopefully you can be like like done with all of that. I was so relieved once I got my second shot. This is gonna turn into a wall too. I heard I heard a I heard an alarm. Wait, where did Excuse me? This is one of your favorite games of last year. You've played this four times. Can you... Oh, even though it never changes, it's replayable as high for me. Don't you love when you find a game like that? Like you can... No matter... It doesn't replay or whatever. Like it doesn't have different things. It's just... It's just that good for you. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculp diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. <sighs> Well, I do. Ask if they head out flyers. Also, ask Ryan's for increased canister. Oh my gosh. I found the framework. Conception. I love this soda machine. I love this soda machine. I don't know why. Okay. 
So is the, this is there's got to be an end end, right? Conception, right? I hear something. Okay, there's got to be something. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I got excited. I was like, soda? Okay. You can hear music through the wall. Okay, so this says like the music's too loud. Oh! <gasps> what? Oh my God. What? Purple! Do, 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 do. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to David. David, you're my newest little baby space shark. Please enjoy all the emotes and all the good things for being a space shark. I really appreciate it. That is so cool. Warning. Unrealistic research dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state. Purple, thank you so much for giving us up to excessive. Excessive, you're my newest little baby space shark. Enjoy all of the wonderful things for being a space shark. I really appreciate it. Hey, thank you so much. Hey, Jelly Wan, welcome. Thank you very much for that, Purple. That's so kind of you. Hold on. Thank you so much. Purple, thank you for gifting us up to Jelly Wan. Jelly Wan? Thank you for, um, holy crap. Thank you so much for, um, gifting a sub, uh, to Jelly. I hope you enjoy that. Purple, thank you. Is one of your favorite, this is your, your favorite part? It's super neat. Like, I, I'm trying to figure out where I need to put this. Thank you, Purple. Thank you so much. Oh, I know. I think. Maybe. Oh, there's a garage door on the back. Oh, there's a garage door on the back. Does that mean something? Hold on. Okay. Okay, let's just say uh, music too loud, scent of burned curry, uh, shipments of food. Also ask Ryan Medical for increased canister order frequency. So then where, okay, I have this, I'm in here. And then I'm back here and I'm just in an endless loop. Somascope Sleep Clinic. Okay, what do, okay. Maybe. Do we just break it? Maybe we break it? No. Oh, wait. I can make myself tiny now. Oh, <gasps> wait. Do I make myself tiny and I put myself on here and I get out that way? Hold on. Disrespect my surroundings. Make them yield. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. <laughs> um, it's okay. We're gonna see how it goes. Uh oh. Was this a mistake? Jungle's Bistro. Am I, am I even close or am I doing other things? Oh, this is right where it wipe. Oh gosh, this is so cool. Help wanted. I'll work on your bistro. Is there like a way to open up the garage? No. Come back later. That makes me... Okay, so that means... Oops. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, is that not... Hi, rats, by the way. Welcome on in. Okay. I'm curious. So I'm in here, right? 
Like I have. It appears you have entered the Sonascult diagnostic framework. Just a small Katie in a big world. Okay. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state. Okay, so that's open now. Um, I feel like I'm missing something so simple. But what am I missing? Wish you could do this instead of, uh, instead of you get a mortgage, you just make yourself small. I, yeah, I feel like that is definitely something, um, like, isn't that life-size movie? Or what's that movie with, uh, Matt Damon? Which was so different than I thought it was gonna be. Um, yeah, downsizing. That one, where you shrink yourself so you can have, like, a big house and stuff. Hi, Jack. Welcome. That was a weird movie. It was. It was just not what I thought it was going to be. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hi, Jack. Welcome, by the way. It's okay. My brain's breaking, too. This is like a puzzle game, and... Uh... Oh, I made it smaller. Okay, hold on. We're just going to drop down. And uh, I haven't thought about that in years. Uh-oh. Can I just make it, like... There we go. Okay. So now I'm big size again, right? Is there some place I can go to get out? Is that... <gasps> okay, let's go look for maybe a place I can get out. I wonder if I was a tiny uh, whether Cookie would eat me. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't... That's so interesting to think about. Like if there was... <laughs> if there was like a, you know, if you were small... Would a, would a doggy eat you? Because you'd be like a little treat size. Oh my gosh. Life size. Was that the movie about Tyra Banks? <gasps> oh, yes. The one that was, she was like a Barbie. Yes. Okay. Now I know we have to find a place to put. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. implemented. Paradox. So the paradox protocols is, okay. oh my God. Look at that. Holy crap, look at that. Please paradox from creating any refrains. Explosive dream overload. overload. Okay, overload. result. Please paradox. I didn't actually overload. mean to do that. But I'm breaking it. Oh no, I'm breaking it. I broke Please space. Overload for dream explosion. Please overload for dream explosion. Uh oh, I'm breaking it. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, it's gone. Hello, is this heaven? Not an exit. That's not good. Look at this. This would have taken a lot of time to design. Holy heck. Uh-oh. Like, I kind of love... I kind of love how, like... It's like the brain teasers, like I remember as a kid, you know? Oh my gosh. Like, the, just the way to do this would have been so interesting of a process. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. I'm not Pierce. sure, Pika, it might. And many years ago, I had a dream. Mm -hmm. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Oh. I wonder how long you've been asleep. You know what? That's like such an interesting concept to be like. You ever just like think about, you know, how we play the Sims and things like that. Just wondering if we are just in a Matrix type scenario. Oh, sorry, that's loud and that was loud for me. I don't know why that audio was a little bit off. Um, But just like thinking about how. 
it kind of breaks my brain if I start to think like, have I been dreaming this whole time? And am I dreaming that I'm dreaming that I'm playing a dream game? You know, just basic extent existential crisis stuff. <laughs> oh, that is true, Tom. There might not be a VR because of that. I can't imagine playing this in VR. I feel like I would get all like topsy turny, you know? Not an exit. Was that a door? Oh my god, no way. That was so trippy. I used to think of... Hi, Charmy, welcome. There is a seizure warning at the beginning of this game. I think a lot of games now have the, the epileptic warnings, which is good for folks to be aware. Hi, Void! Is someone else simulation games? They should fire the developer. I agree with that statement, Void, for myself as well. <laughs> I would like to file a formal complaint. <laughs> this looks so pretty. Like, look at that detail. Like, in, it's like a marble floor. Yes, Mouse Rice. I, I'm sure that this would have been like a difficult game to get everything just so. Did it change? Oh, yes, I actually have Manifold Garden, which um, Taylor gifted to me, and that's actually in my library. We just came this way, so I don't know why it said that. So that one's definitely on the list, too. It's such a bizarre game. I kind of like it because it's a little bit of a thinker. Does it want me to go back? Naha! I found a new way. God, being stuck in your dreams, though, would be so, so dissatisfying. It's more grayscale this time. Oh. Okay, no, that just took me back. Like, I feel like... Soothing 4D puzzles, the style art is gorgeous. Okay, I have that one. Like, I I thought I would move it up the list because it's kind of been... is what Taylor recommended it and then was kind enough to gift it. So... Oh, I just didn't go through the window properly. Okay. It's a thinker, not a stinker. I did. I got turned around again. Is the cake a lie? Hold on. Oh, how do I get up there? Maybe I don't? Hello? I'd like to join you. Good night, uh, uh, Still Gold. Get some good sleep. Thank you for being here. I very much appreciate it. Oh my gosh. It's a box. Thank you so much. Get some good sleep. Still gold. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself Thank you for coming me, tonight and hanging and out. all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. That looks like a cigarette. I know it's a traffic cone. Mmm. Merriman, I have not heard of that one. Gor Gorgoa? Oh! I see a button, I click it. You know, it's like, don't touch the big red button. And then I touch the big red button. Oh! Look at this, like the color contrasting. Oh. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's many ways to maybe exit. Oh no, there's not. It's all about perception. Uh, how do I get it? I can't go around it. Gorga is a very cool game. I've not heard of that. I feel like this is more simple than I'm making it out to be. Please let me let me leave by going out the exit, please. 
Gorgonzola? A fine cheese. How does... Okay, I actually need to know. This is a very important question for all of you. How do you feel about blue cheese and Gorgonzola? Okay, Katie, you got this. You've played this game so far. We got to figure this one out. I know your brain's a bit mushy. Yes, please. By the spoonful. I love it when it's used right. Never had it. I'll eat blue cheese. I'll eat it too. Like, not to, you don't have to eat it together, but like the blue cheese. Oh, like a lot of blue cheese, folks. Okay. I, sometimes it's very much hated on. It's very much like, hey, that gorgonzola, it's not good for me. It's got the mold in it, but I actually like it. I used to dislike, but I've grown to like it. Same NLA. Um, I feel like this is something simple. Blue cheese has mold in it. It does. What if it's not milk mold? <laughs> uh, you know, you just gotta be careful. You know, just... How do you tell if blue cheese is bad? Never thought about that. I don't like crumble blue cheese, but I love blue cheese dressing. I love blue cheese dressing, too. Not moldy enough. It's green. Oh, that's true. It's not blue. It's green. All right, I feel like, do I just like look up? Do I look down? Oh my God, yes. We did it, kids. I think we did something, kids. I think, oh my God, what's happening? Um, did I break it? Did I just break the game? Oh yeah, that would actually be pretty good. Did I just break the game? No, I didn't. I kind of broke the game, but we... I like to break games because it's kind of a fun thing to do. Toss your wings in it so you don't... Uh, you know what? Deets, life hack. That's what that is. That's just a life hack right there. Oh my gosh. This game is so pretty. Okay. That's just maximum efficiency, I agree. I've entered the twilight zone. I very much have. Okay. So there's a bunch of colors on the wall. We got a red, a blue, a red, and a yellow. Why are these two both red? Do I need to line this up in some way? Hello, can I have a cube, please? I don't know why I would need a cube, but maybe I need a cube. You love the variety of dipping. I get that. It's nice to have options. I, P Mr. Peabody, I thought that as well. Wait. Was this white before or was it always black? I think it was always black. And then the walls were white. Oh my God. Did I go through the wall again? Oh my God. I did. You didn't make it far in the game. How come Jay Wa? Did I break the game again? <gasps> Good night, Jess. Thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it. I think I just need to walk forward at this point. Either that or I broke the game. Jess, thank you so much again for the raid. I hope you have a lovely night. Everybody go check out Jess, please. I hope you get to treat yourself to something relaxing this evening. Did I break it? No. Oh, but I... I did, I did get out of there there. I did get out of there, y'all. So I don't know if I was supposed to get out of there. <laughs> Good night, Jess. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy more Psychonauts. Thank you, NLA. There's a 50s diner restaurant called The Silver Diner that has an awesome blue cheese bacon cheeseburger with A1 sauce and bacon. Damn. You are beyond dreaming now. Yeah. And further out than anyone has ever come back from. Yeah. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. <gasps> After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Yeah. Isn't that why you came here? Yeah. Oh, <gasps> I make it giant. Oh, this is cool. I'm getting through a lot of this faster than I did. 
I really like these games. I've been really enjoying, like, the ability to... That's pretty cool. I think... Oh, no, I, they can't go across that. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay, we gotta do something with this. Um... Um, I, I've been really liking it so far. Do you have... Okay, I made a mistake. Wait, why? Do you have to have... You probably have to have it on there to make it solid. I think. I think that's what this is. Yeah. We gotta have a piece on here. Or it won't be... It won't be solid. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, it's fine. That's... We did it! Oh, there's been a couple thinkers on this one. Okay. Break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Okay. There's a box and there's also this little, this like, what's this? Such a wonderfully thought out game. I'm really impressed by what, you know, can I get up there? I can't get up there. That's too far for me. Can I go through here? I can't go through there. Um. How do I get up there then? Hello? I'd like to submit a question. Oh. Oh. Wait. Where did that... What? Oh, what? Cheese? The cheese stands alone. Oh, you have to make a trade. You have to make a trade. Oh! It's like you either need to leave the cheese or you gotta bring the block with you. You make a choice. Okay, I made a giant cheese. Woo! What is this, a TLC video? Or a Janet Jackson video? If you get that reference, we just became best friends. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, there's got to be a rhyme or reason to this. <laughs> it's every music video from the 90s. You're right. Any music video would have sufficed. What? Whoa. Kaleidoscope dreams. Am I right? <laughs> Let's head on in. Take your drama mean. Holy nuts. I actually do get motion sick when I'm on a boat or in a car. <laughs> I don't get it on airplanes, really. Do I go back in the hole? No. Um. Whoa. You know what's the most satisfying feeling? Turning your alarm off so you don't have to like deal with it the next day. 7.59, baby. Good morning. Don't worry, I got it. I got there, Ham. I got there. Last second. Mm -mm. Are we waking up? Oh, it's 8 a.m. So were we dreaming the... Oh. We're not done yet. So were we dreaming the whole time? Do, 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 do. Back from grocery shopping. How are you? Yeah, usually my Hello. alarm's not turned my off either. Glenn but Pearson. tomorrow it will be. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. <gasps> you see, everyone who comes to the institute does yeah. so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. Yeah. Whoa. But more often than not, the I like these transitions. Not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems <gasps> from a new perspective. Oh, that sounds so delicious, Dunin. We do the same things again and again and again. I got some cherries there, recently, course, too. We find exactly the failure we were looking for. Whoa. 
Damn, man. Oh. I hope that the trip went well, Dunin, though, and you enjoy those fruit. Okay. That's the relaxation room. Honestly, looking at clouds is so nice. For a morning run. Some people are morning people, which I'm always so jealous of. I'm just not. Your life will always be a struggle. And you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Um. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. Oh. How dare you, game? How dare you? The game's all about perspective, so it makes sense. It's like shifting perspective. Dream soda? Oh, damn. In a few minutes, you'll be back in the real world. And some part of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wake up. I did like that hand step. The moon part was great. That was a great game. I'm so glad we played that today. It was like Stanley Parable was mixed with Portal and then put little wholesome chunks of love in it. That was a cool game. Also some lo-fi. Yes, please. What'd you all think of it? Did you like it? Cheers to the, the devs for this one. That was really cool. This is on sale. Is today the last day for the Steam sale? I got this for like 60% off and that's why I was like, I'm buying it. Seriously, that was a great game. Another KPP speed run. Did I play it fast? Did I beat it fast? Mr. Worldwide. Hold on, I'm gonna tab out. I got it. Hold on, I'm just gonna move Mr. Worldwide over for just this part so we can have both. So we can have both, okay? I really liked that. Oh gosh, Cap, that there's so many good games right now. Oh, highly request. <laughs> That's never gonna get old to me. <laughs> I'm just leaning into the fact of my mistypes. Oh, perspective. I really liked that. Um, I hope that you all have an amazing weekend and that you're able to take some time for you to do whatever you need to do. And uh that game, I don't know, it's a it's a good reminder. Like it's a it was a great game that we just played, but just like at the end where it's like you thought you couldn't get through some of these silly puzzles and then you did and everything's going to be okay.